then you can't knock something that you've never tried. Oh you can't close. You can't close yourself off to your life experiences. Oh, first panties. I know you do. It ain't this one though. Whoa, whoa. Panties. Who said? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're talking about cougars and panties. Good point. Because I feel like she wasn't finished yet. Go ahead. No, you're good. Navi, don't be scared now. Don't be. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh-uh, you have. I have kids. Boy, you are just trying to knock this down. Here's the thing. I'm not. Uh, uh-uh. it works. I'm trying to save you. Save, save me from what? You're too young. You got too much life to live. I got way too much experience in life. You gotta, you gotta, no. And I'm telling you, I still don't care. You like him and don't like him, there's nothing you could do about him because he's number one. Whether you like him or don't like him, there's nothing you can do about him because he's number one. Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby, man. Have no fear, Taekwondo is shit, man. Look. I got a banger for y'all today, man. It's gonna get crazy. It's, it's really gonna get crazy. It's one of my toughest battles with one of the older women that y'all have ever seen on camera. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I always goes at it, man. I goes at anything and everything, especially when I want it. So I'm watching the, you know, Pineapple Show. Shout out to Melly Monaco. And uh, something caught my eye. And I was listening to the conversation a little bit. And my chat was like, Ty, go on, go on, go on. Something like, okay, why not? And I was like, yo. How much y'all want to bet I can get her in one question? Now listen, it worked out well until... I'm going to let y'all watch the vibe, man. All I want to say is post-game interview, we was in there dropping 50. We was in there putting up a fight, popped a big pot, had to get a self-revive. It still, still was hitting the clutch. Y'all got to see if I made it or not. Listen, man. Dojo to the moon to Saturn and we're leaving the solar system. The limbs won't even know he exists. Keep sending the Dooney demons to Dooney land in the back of the Dooney van. It's about to be double XP weekend, man. Y'all be, better be out here farming. Y'all better be out here slaying. I know what we are. Got the other honorary katana in the back, man. It's demon time in the dojo. B. B. Going through a divorce for like over a year now. So you're still married right now? So that's my age yeah. group. What is but we're going through the proceedings. Pineapple? You gotta, you gotta get that cleaned up before you start dating, baby. Mm -mm. Okay. I mean, but you say it's taking a year. Is that something normal? That it's taking <laughs> a year? Um. Yeah, it takes a year, but I mean, still, you gotta heal from that. Yeah. It's not just because it's over in a year. You still to that whole time, she probably like. Clean that up. Mm -mm. Gotcha. Married for eight years right, guys, in LA. She Loki could be like that's young thirties. A lot, because <laughs> she could have got married when she was like eighteen. Is that really asking too much now? <clears throat> you gotta be divorced. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right. I got. I got taekwondo for you. Mm hmm. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, How you sir. doing? First, I want to say hi to Melly. Melly, we ain't speak. We ain't spoken such a long time. I want to shout you all your success. Yeah, I know. I, I've been working. I've been grinding. Um, and V, I will say this now. I have no, no, no pending divorces. No, there's no, uh, you know, any laws out. No woman out to get you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a single man. I do me. But um, I was listening for a second. I heard something about you know you you getting real long term relationships, right? And I'm curious. It sparked me to ask a question. How would you describe your love? How would you describe how you express your love as a lover? You could take that any way you want to. Okay. Um, I think that it has transformed um, since my last relationship because I feel that a lot of times we learn a lot about ourselves, you know. So for me, I would express my love as to supporting all of their goals and put mine on, on the back burner. So now how I show my love is assisting them with, with theirs and letting them focus on that as well as I focus on my own. I feel a lot of people lose themselves whenever they're in a relationship and I feel that Knowing that somebody loves you mm. for you and not having to adjust who you are to fit into a cookie cutter thing. Melly, please, um, please stop uh, using the troll comments. I'm trying to get serious here. I'm trying to get deep. I don't no, continue, V. She, she picking all the funny comments. <laughs> it's okay. You have no, an it's it's Yeah. Right. No, I, my sense of humor can always find them funny, but I want to. I want to lock in. So it's like. <clears throat> yeah. Remember. So yeah, no, that is. Um, what it sounds like to me, it sounds like your your love has really evolved. Like, did you get into those relationships when you were young? 
Absolutely. I'm okay. I'm 31 now. I was with my ex husband since I was. Well, you're 16. still young, so it's like. Yeah. But I would still say that you know now that you've given your time, your love, some time to evolve. You know yourself more. What would you say? How would you see yourself in a relationship now than you had before? That I have before, like mm-hmm. I said, I would. A lot of the times, people feel like they need to adjust to someone. Rather, I want it to be a comfort zone where we can both be ourselves, and whatever that that looks like, that's going to determine on that person. Um, so you want to be accepted for who you are, and you don't want to like. You want to like compliment somebody rather than conform. Right. That's how it should be. I, I feel. No, I agree. Um, I, no, I'm, I'm glad we made that distinction. Yeah. Because a lot of times people. Or, you know, men or women in general, they kind of look at relationships like I come into this person's life and whatever they need me to be, I'm going to just be that and change for them. And I'm going to just become or just, you know, live up to them or under them or some kind of thing. And I think that um, when you have a relationship of value, when you have a relationship of purpose or, or meaning, you can meet somebody who thinks like and sees the world as you do. Now, we don't have to be the same on everything. We don't have to agree on everything. We don't have to. You know, you might have some snacks in the cabinet that might think this are nasty or disgusting. You know what right. I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we come together on core purpose and value. So I, yep. I like that. I like that. Because when I look for a woman, I like that she challenges me, like mentally and spiritually. And that when I'm around her, we can complement each other's existence. We can be comforted around each other, but also be intimate. Not just intimate sexually, but, you know, intimate spiritually. And I think that. A lot of people don't understand the connection that you can have from that. For sure. Mm-hmm. No, definitely for sure. Um, so how how old are you? You seem mature mm-hmm. in the way that, that you think, but you're definitely young. I'm old enough. I'm 21. Okay. Hey. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You're an amazing man. You are mature for your age, but just way too... I got you by 10 years. That's not. That's that's not. You want me to be honest? That's not the biggest gap I've ever had. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. Well, well, listen. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. If you never had a gap, if you've never had a gap like this, if you had, if you never had a gap like this, then you can't knock something that you've never tried. Oh boy. You can't close. You can't close no yourself way. off to your life experiences. All these Cooper's panties. I know you do. It ain't this one though. Whoa, whoa. Panties. Who said? Whoa, 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 whoa. We talking about Cougars and panties. Taekwondo. I got. I got. Hold on. Wait. wait. Hold on, Melly. Hold on. Wait. Let, let her get to her point because I feel like she wasn't finished yet. Go ahead. No, you're good. No, V. Don't be scared. Now, don't be. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh-uh, you have. I have kids. Boy, you were just trying to knock this down. Here's the thing. I'm not. Uh. Uh-uh. You just any woman. Why? Why? All right, wait. See now, I right, see now you're showing me how you think. Now you're showing me how you think. You assume that because I'm young, that all I want is sex. I feel why disrespected you want a by woman that. With kids. If my 21 year old son came to me and was like, "I'm getting this 31 woman with kids who's who's been married," I'd be like, "Boy, you out your damn mind." I'm not your son. I'm not. We don't think the same. He he might be different. He might want to do that. Why would you not be supportive of his him him making that decision? Everybody's life is different. I think that you could do whatever you want in his life. So Ty, you would be willing to take on her two kids and her be dad. Her, her kids be are dad. grown. Her, her kids, kids are grown. I think I, her grown? kids are grown. No, nine and what? B? Uh, nine and thirteen. Oh, all right. I thought you said twenty-one year old son. I'm like, what is she talking about? That was an example. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna take care of her kids. Well, I have siblings older than her kids. Um, I have nephews, cousins, and all that. I already play a role in a lot of people's lives that, you know, where I'm the oldest sibling in my parents. I'm my parents' first child. So playing a role in a younger person's life, I already do it for my community. I mean, I don't know if you know, V, I do, like, uh, content creation, spiritual coaching, mental health coaching. So I'm already used to that role. I don't, I don't believe that the issue here is experience or preparation. I think that she just has a misconception about younger guys. Yeah, uh, me personally, I would say go after the young girls who ain't got no kids. So I'm gonna have to go to the pineapple. How, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, Melly, hold on. How you gonna, how you gonna pineapple me to spare me? That's not how that works. I'm trying to save you. Save, save me from what? You're too young. You got too much life to live. I got way too much experience in life. You gotta, you gotta know. And I'm telling you, I still don't care. 
sorry. I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. <laughs> That's hey. I would tell my friend you're crazy. You're not. Yeah, I'll be drunk. And not only that, the kids here basically like this close to my kids. No, close to my kids. No. I mean, he was willing. He was willing to to help out with the kids and be dad. <laughs> you're like no. That's like Big Brother. That's Big Brother vibes. Yo. All right, Ty. Well, Jack. <laughs> All right, we'll keep it moving. Uh, Eugene. Hi, Eugene. Chat, chat. All right, listen, listen. You want me to keep it a okay. bean, bro? I Why kept trying. My bad, my bad. I was just. I kept trying I because. Nice to meet I listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me turn this off. Let me turn this off. Listen, listen, listen. I kept trying because I knew. Listen, chat. What's some real shit? Oh, so, listen. Want some between me and y'all shit? Nigga, I was nigga, I was like this. Oh, uh, nigga, I was like. They all like this. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I can smell potential. V, I'm coming for you, baby. We in the dojo now. We in the. You know what I'm saying? This one of the props. You know what I'm saying? This one of the props that go in the um the office room. But chat, I smelled the potential. I was in this and chat. I had her. I told y'all niggas. How much y'all want to bet I can get it in one question? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. Offline, you the back. Listen. Shh. I'm gonna turn off the notice because it's gonna be on YouTube now. Chat. <laughs> all, all that's on my mind is demon time, bro. All that's on my mind is demon time. Listen, chat, we was. Had it, chat. Listen, we had it. Listen, listen, we had it. I'm telling you. That's not the biggest gap I ever had. She think she's she I think she's worried about men. Her whole fear and misconception was that I'm going to want to be in her life just spanking. Sis, I'm not that basic. Why would you? I feel I'm, I feel offended by that. That's why she went into that whole rant. Because I would tell my 20-year-old son, why is he messing with a woman with two kids? Because you know what? She's right. But I'm not your son. I'm not that guy. I'm a whole different animal and the same beast. Chat, chat, we had it, chat. She just was still scared. She was like, oh, my, what you look young? What you look, da 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 No, listen, chat, that's where I'm going to end the YouTube video at, man. Let's this to you, I'm telling you, I'm 36, so yeah. Do you have any kids? No, no. How tall are you? Them kids got aborted. A pineapple? They <laughs> were... <laughs> Okay, well, we know how he feels. Okay, I have somebody you might like, so hopefully you have a little energy for him. Okay. You're gonna like him physically for sure. Uh, Jamal. Hi, Jamal. Hey, B, what's, what's going on? Hi. How's everything? I'm tired, Steve but hanging Urkel in there. Fell off. We're gonna make this real, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make this as easy and, and pain, painless as possible. Um, I just I got on in the on the last half. So you do you work out? We talked about that. Tell us something we haven't heard yet on this chat. That you haven't heard yet. Yeah, tell us something you haven't heard. We haven't heard yet on the chat. Sign her Instagram. Mind your business, bro. What have you guys heard? You guys What's heard? the most adventurous thing you've done? <clears throat> adventurous. Um, I was a police officer. No, you was. You was a police officer. Yeah. I can see you in that uniform, wow. big booty. Okay. I know they loved you. <laughs> once upon a time, I was in a. Once upon a time, I was in the military. I was okay. in the army, you know, three, four years. Then I retired, so you know, I'm a veteran now. Um, but yeah, yeah. What's your favorite uh, weapon to shoot? Um. Favorite weapon to shoot? How do you niggas come up? <clears throat> How do you, what the, what, what? Come on, you, 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 you said you're a police officer, come on now. Yeah, no, I mean, for me, I prefer the bigger guns. So, the, the AR, the AR-15, that's okay. always, it's just easy to shoot with, it's fun, makes more noise, okay. things like that. Uh, you like things that make noise. I heard that. 
I'm a I'm a M4 type of guy. Okay. So I we got going, an M5 via We got gun the week. I'm a M4 type of guy. Okay. So I got an going, M5 the other week. Oh my four. Gun Riz. Gun the game. Train the marksman game. We've seen it all. Oh, oh, John Wick. She would have a ball with John Wick. What? My four killer? My four killer? <laughs> so we go on, if we go on a date. Uh, you haven't been on a date shooting ring? I was at a, for a date, no. I was just there, I think, last, last week I was at the shooting range. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got an intruder in the house. We could both shoot at them. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody taking the kids. Oh yeah, no. <coughs> they 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 dead on site. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Red dot and all. All right, uh, Chad, don't break into her house. Give me, give me two green she flags. She shrapped tooth the nail. And the next man you looking for? Um, green flags. Somebody who is ambitious and knows how to coexist and still pursue his goals as well as maintaining a healthy relationship. Um, just somebody. I mean, for me, it's just like always just wanting more always wanting more um in in life i'm sorry i'm tapped out <laughs> all right ask me let me take over ask me questions then come on like deep deep like get to know somebody wait we don't want deep right now because she's not she's not fully uh, with well, us she no don't gotta ask so Melly, you no, no no this is what you do you take her to the deep place we don't ask we do you see what i'm saying you ask it. Come on, take it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Tell me, how old are you? Let's go to the basic first. How old are you? All uh, right, thirty-two. Any kids? That gotta be count. No, nah, no, nah, no kids. <laughs> I'm playing. Why I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm Why playing. It's a show. It's a show. You gotta play. You gotta play along. Ain't no kids. Uh, how many? Uh, how many? This nigga lying about everything, bro. Uh, I make I make over six figures. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? Um, I don't know if I want to say that. I I work for Meta. I work for Meta. Okay. I work for uh, Instagram. <coughs> how, how tall are you? About time. Pineapple. Why he can't say any answers? Just looking at the camera. No. She's I'm good. Me she good, Melly. You ain't gotta jump in here. Relax, <laughs> Melly. Why you always gotta <laughs> relax, Melly? Because please. I think she's not all the way you with it. You ain't gotta. No, I that. heard him. I, I said. I said 5'10", I could work with 5'10". Relax, Melly, she's good. She could do this. Go ahead. Melly trigger Melly, finger be so happy, okay, bro. If you guys live together in the same house, who is paying the mortgage? Oh, I'm, we both not paying the mortgage. So who is paying it? Because we have enough assets. We have, we buying three family homes, four family homes, so it's it's paying on its own. Monopoly okay. rich. Monopoly what game. do you do if um, your sex drive is way higher than hers? Are you gonna go cheat? Wow, Melly is just coming up with the most uh, unique questions she has ever came up with. I give her her props. Trust me, I, I'm pretty sure her sex drive, <laughs> uh, my sex drive is not higher than hers. <laughs> I, I know her sex is not. She work out, she on point, like, so I'm not, nah, that's, I'm, I'm I work out, so I'm super sore where I can't even bounce up and down. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation just gets crazier and crazier. Oh! <gasps> we, we go, you and I, we get a couple massages once a week. I mean, I do it twice, once every two weeks, but, I mean, if it's, if you working out like that, we could do, we could do once a week. Bro, I got you. No, three times a week minimum for a healthy relationship. Say less. I got you. That's not even. That's not even a problem. Okay. Every time you go on a date, you're paying for everything. Until she's comfortable enough to pay. But if she don't want to pay, I think it's a thoughtful gesture. But it's not a. It's not. A, that's not what I need. I don't need a woman to pay. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, do you have Come on, how you feel about her, her guy friends? He doing good, Chad. He, Chad. he low key cooking right now. He hit every three on the three point contest. Come on, Melly. How you feel about her, her guy friends? Melly, you ask this question all the time. We need fresh. I don't care. We I need fresh need material, to think Melly. About it. I don't okay. care. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, she cool with him. I don't how think. Female, uh, how many male friends do you have? Do you have? Do you even have male friends? So here's my definition of of a male friend. A male friend is somebody who sticks around and is still hitting me up regardless of if I'm in a relationship or not. So I would.
say I would have about five. So a vulture. Of those that I can count on. If I break up, then guys hit me up that are, those aren't really my friends. So five. Now, have you ever been in a relationship with those with those friends? No. Mm -mm. Like anything sexual? No. All right, we'll give it. We'll, What's that little smile for? I ain't, I ain't got no problem. As long as it's never been anything crazy. Hmm. And then they coming through the house like, hey, look, I brought her some milk. Pass it. Give it, give it to me. That's a little <laughs> Someone weird. said five guys. I, I wouldn't do that, but I ain't, I ain't got no issues with no friends. Are you, right. are you comfortable with the female friends I have? Yeah, I feel that. The only way that I'm uncomfortable if it's like I don't meet them. Oh, okay. Like, that's weird. If you're, if that's your best friend or your friend, I should be meeting your, if they, if they mean that much to you, I should be meeting at some point not even a problem <laughs> okay, okay. Jamal, Jay, he cooking right now he cooking he cooking he cooking your mom <clears throat> um my relationship with my mom it's evolving it's evolving uh, she's never had like a man like to truly always be there so i've always been like the son and like you know the kind of husband to her so it's it's, it's definitely been evolving been taking care of my mom from the beginning i love her she's you know much she's my, she's my center Okay, what about your dad? Who? Your dad? We just connected on Facebook, like, it's funny. We just connected on Facebook like a year ago. Him and I, we cool. So you didn't grow up with him? Nah, nah, I grew up, I grew up, by, I grew up in the Bronx, grew up by myself, but I had a lot of great mentors, connect, connected with a lot of great people, got into the military, then went to, to tech. But yeah, it's it been a lot of good people in my life, so never had a consistent dad figure, but we, we, we built in something real deep though. We'll cook, okay. we'll do, I'm going to Miami soon to go see him. Nice. Have you ever cheated? Yeah. Then dude had a baby and moved to Miami. Oh shit! Yeah, here we go. When I was 21, yeah. When I was 21, when I didn't understand boundaries and still understood. I mean, it's been 11 years since then. Mm-hmm. Uh, v, you ever cheated? Yeah. Oh, okay. When? Kind of interesting. I, I I could I thought I pretty much guessed that from her reaction. Like she didn't react at all. You've been you've been in the relationship for a while now. My last one. Your last relationship, the one that you was married in. No, I wasn't married in my last relationship. Okay. Why you cheated? Because you at that point you a little you got a little you know you you you. you yeah, this conversation getting good as fuck. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cool now. So why why Hold you on. in the last one? Uh, we were out. It was a lot of towards the end of the last five months. It was a lot of back and forth. Um, so yeah, he he did his thing and I did my thing, and then <laughs> was it a respectful cheat? Does he know? Yeah. Okay, because now I'm about to say he know right now. That's fine. Oh, you with it? All right, all right. Now I might I might be thinking uh 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 Facebook actually has an office in LA. You said you were in LA, right? Uh, yeah, I'm about, I'm, I'm close enough to LA, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe we could grab some coffee one day, you know, maybe pull up to the office, you know, but I would love to get to know you a little bit better. For you sure. know, absolutely. I'll, I'll slide in your uh, DM. Sounds good. Thanks, Melly. I appreciate what you're doing. No problem. Thank you, Jamal. All right. Bye. Bye.